What's going on everybody? It's your boy J-Main back checking in with the people and today I wanted to talk about the Xbox One X and future sales. I mean predictions if you want to go there. An article came out today about the Xbox One X potentially hitting 17 million units sold by itself by 2021. Now this prediction comes from the DFC, an intelligence firm that, you know, they do console predictions now. Have they been right? As of recently, I have to say no. They actually did a prediction back in 2014 saying that the Xbox One and the PS4 would hit 100 million units each by 2020. This new article here actually goes back on that because they are predicting that the Xbox One X will hit 63 million by 2021 and that 17 of that 63 million would be the Xbox One X. Now, if you ask me, I just think that's off. Um, because if you do the math, that's 63 million. You can predict that Xbox One is at 30. And if you do subtraction, that's 33 million, sorry, 33 million Xbox Ones from now into 2021. Now, if 17 million of those are the X, that would mean 16 million of those are the Xbox One S or the OG Xbox, which isn't probably even selling as much as the S. The S is probably like the primary one and the OG is probably just something that they're getting off from backs. Like, I don't know if they're gonna be producing those at a higher rate at this point. Um, so that would be almost one-to-one -one ratio, sales ratio between the S and the X. Um, and I just don't think that's, that's correct. Um, Phil Spencer even came out and said they expect the Xbox One X to not sell, like not be the most dominant uh, Xbox sold. They expect the S to do that. The S is going to be the cheaper one. The S has the 4K Blu-ray player. Uh, it's not as powerful, but the casual people really don't care about power. This is um, the power version is for the enthusiasts. You know what I'm saying? The people that actually care to have the better versions of the multiplats and the best looking games on consoles. Now, uh, this prediction, like I said, would mean that the Xbox One X is going to be selling better than the S. And at $500, I just don't see that happening unless there's a, a 4K demand that probably reaches the levels of the way DVD did with PlayStation 2. You know, um, later in the generation, the PS2 kind of kept its steam because people were buying it for DVD players in addition to gaming. But, you know, kind of got that two in one thing going on. I just don't feel like 4K is what DVD was. Um, 4K movies, of course, look great. 4K gaming, you know, it's good, but it's also not that standard to high definition, mind blowing right now. It's just something that people are adopting, but they're not, you know, doing it at a fast rate. People are, you know, slowly easing their way into 4K. You know, prices have been coming down. You know, you get the newer models every year. Now, if that happens, then yeah, I could see this uh, possibly, you know, I don't, I still don't see it selling more than the S, but I see it selling more than what I think it would sell. We all know that the PS4 Pro is, you know, a one to five ratio for every five PS4 sold. One of those is the PS4 Pro. This is like, this is saying that it's going to sell better than the PS4 Pro, which is also something that I don't believe at that price point. If they would have came out at $399, I think it would have been a better, it would have sold better than the PS4 Pro. At $499, you're going to get all the enthusiasts on board, but I think the casuals are going to look at even the S and say, you know, is that jump worth spending an extra $250 plus maybe I have to go out and get a 4K television to fully take advantage of it? Um, or looking at the PS4 Pro at $399, possibly $349 versus the $500 Xbox One X. So, you know, I think it has a couple things going against it for it to sell this well. I do think it's going to do fine and what they predict it's going to do, but it's not going to be, one, I don't think it's going to sell better than the Pro, and two, it's definitely not selling $17 million by 2021. Um, yeah, I just think this prediction is crazy. Uh, if you look at his past predictions, like I said, about the $100 million each, that's even crazy. I think the PS4 can hit 100 million, um, but I don't know. If, I don't. Me personally, I don't feel the generation is gonna go long enough for it to hit that. I see the PS5 coming out in like 2020. Earlier, I predicted 2019, but that was because I thought the Xbox One X 
was going to be more than what it is. It's a beast, but it's not something that I feel like is going to take the world by storm um, and have people buying it over the PlayStation 4. And that's mainly because of the price. Um, so PS4, I think, can hit 100 million if the generation goes, you know, to 2020. It won't, if it goes longer, then yeah, it could probably catch the PS2, but it's that's going to be hard. Like I said, the PS2 was doing things not only for gaming, but for people who were adopting to DVD. So it, it's going to be interesting to see. You know, I like to keep track of sales. So when the holiday season comes and the Xbox One X is on the market, I I can't wait to see those NPDs. I will be doing videos and comparisons to, you know, if they release solid numbers between the Xbox One X and the Pro and all this other stuff just to see how the market is doing. So that's my thoughts. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. Do you think the Xbox One X will sell, you know, 17 million by 2021? Meaning that it's the most uh, bought Xbox One from here going forward. Uh, do you think even either of these consoles will hit 100 million units? Let me know down in the comment section what you think. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.